Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you keyboard commands in Mac OS X. And what I mean by this is, if you're a recent Mac switcher, and you're used to Windows, you and you're like me, you'll probably want to know all the keyboard shortcuts you can. Uh, when I switched over, that was the first thing I wanted to know about, because I use keyboard shortcuts all the time, and they save me a ton of time when I'm doing everything. And that's the first thing I wanted to know. And it was difficult until I knew the keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to show you probably the top 10 keyboard shortcuts that most people will, will use, uh, as well as probably the, what are the most used from coming from Windows, and how they're different from their Windows counterparts. So we're going to start with some basic ones here. So I've got a blank text edit document open, and I'm just going to write test. Now, a lot of the keyboard shortcuts are nearly identical to their Windows counterparts, but for the except for the fact that they use command instead of control. So you'll see the keyboard shortcuts on the bottom of the screen here as I'm pressing them. So the first one for copy on Windows would be control C. On Mac it's command C. Then you've copied it. And this goes with paste too. On Windows it would be control V. On the Mac it is command V. So it's very similar that it, if you're used to using Windows, you'll be right at home with this. And the same goes for cut. Uh, on Windows, it'd be Control X. On Mac, it is Command X. And then, of course, you could paste it once again with Command V. And then undo on Windows is Control Z. On the Mac, it's Command Z. So all very similar and very familiar if you're used to using a PC. So next up is save. Now on a PC it would be control S. On the Mac it's command S. So a very similar and pretty much the same. So that you can kind of see how these keyboard shortcuts really aren't that much different from Windows to Mac. And if you're completely new to keyboard shortcuts altogether, all I'm doing is I'm holding down the command key and then pressing whatever key that corresponds with it. So I'm holding down command and then I press V and that pastes it. Now another thing you might be used to in Windows is uh, Control Alt Delete which is for your task manager. On the Mac it, it's very similar the application for that but you don't press Control Alt Delete. Instead it's called Activity Monitor and there is no keyboard shortcut for that but you can easily find it by going up to the right hand corner of your screen clicking on the spotlight icon and then typing in activity monitor and then it'll show up right there for you and that's how you can find that now on windows you would use alt plus tab to switch between open windows open applications and you just hit alt and then press tab on the mac once again it's very similar but it's command tab and then you can switch between your open applications that way. So very similar. Um, all I'm doing is holding down command and then tapping the tab key. And on Windows, to quit applications, you hold down Alt and then hit F4. On the Mac, it's a little bit different, probably more different than the rest. It's Command Q. So you just hold down Command and then hit Q. And that's how that works. And then another feature if you're in the Finder or on Windows in Windows Explorer, to find something you would hit Control or sorry Windows key plus F, and then you'd be able to find something. And on the Mac, there's two ways of doing this. You can either hit Command F, and that'll find something in your Finder window, or Command Spacebar opens up the Spotlight window, and you can search for things from there. So you have two options, uh, where in the Windows you only have one. Uh, they both do different things, but they're both useful overall. So those are probably the top ten keyboard shortcuts if you're on Windows you'd be used to that you might not know when you're coming over to the Mac. So I hope this video helped you out, and maybe it'll save you a lot of time down the road. Thank you for watching.